I'm standing on one leg. Well, when the great Talmudic sage Hillel was confronted by a man who wanted to convert to Judaism, the man stated that he would only convert if a rabbi would teach him the entire Torah while he, the prospective convert, stood on one foot. The non Jew had initially gone to another rabbi, Shammai, who had literally driven him away with the stick when presented with this challenge. However, the man did not give up and went to Hillel, who accepted the challenge. Hillel said, what is hateful to you, do not do to your neighbor. That is the whole Torah. The rest is an explanation of this. Go and study it. We learn two things from this famous story. The essence of Judaism is to treat your fellow human as you would like to be treated, and that studying and educating oneself is crucial. Ladies and gentlemen, since the beginning of our history, Jewish literacy has been paramount. It has informed our values and shown us the value of education. Following the destruction of the Second Temple, the synagogue emerged as the center of Jewish life, and praying replaced sacrifices at the temple. In order to pray, the rabbis required each Jewish individual, child or adult, rich or poor, farmer or merchant, to be able to learn, read, and study the Torah. Not only were they required to read, but they were required to understand these texts. This was a unique and quite revolutionary change in the primary agrarian in the literate world of 2,000 years ago. Once they could read in the, the, Hebrew, the Torah in Hebrew, they could also read other texts written in Hebrew, such as contracts, letters, and non-religious texts. Jewish literacy became general literacy and enabled Jews to become successful merchants and traders. The Jews have long been known as people of the book, Am HaSefer. Every Jew is commanded to know the Torah, not just the Kohanim or the rabbis, but each and every Jew. Maimonides wrote that every Jew is obligated to study Torah, whether he is poor or rich, healthy or ill, young or old. It is for this reason that Jews have always valued education, and especially literacy. Our rates of literacy, high learning, and educational achievement in all areas surpasses others. In fact, there is a rich tradition of Jewish scholars who live their lives studying days and nights. The value placed on learning is high, and these people are placed in such esteem that the community is prepared to support them. It is clear that by holding these scholars safe and protecting the safe house of Jewish literacy, it sustains the Jewish people. It keeps us Jewish. What has been the effect in our everyday life of this focus on education, of the Jewish ethic of tikkun olam, making the world a better place? Well, when I picked up the Jewish news a few weeks ago, the headline screamed out, what an honor, with pictures of about 40 people, some of whom I knew. The headline went on to state that while we may account for just 0.4% of the Australian population, 4.5% of this year's Queen's birthday honorees were Jewish. Jewish literacy for many years has been an undeniable influence on our everyday life. Not only have Jews been high achievers, but have worked so hard in areas of medicine, the arts, social justice, and the community in making the world a better place for everyone. Likewise, every day as a Mariah student, I am privileged enough to look down at the school crest on my uniform. It consists of a Torah and a motto. I'm sure most of you have seen it before. <laughs> to learn, to heed, and to act. Our community's value on education is so prominent that from such a young age, we're taught to, sh to respect, show kindness, integrity, responsibility, and commitment to our religion and our education. To defend a country, you need an army, but to defend an identity, you need a school. Judaism is the religion of the book, not the sword. This statement was made by Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, previous chief rabbi of the Commonwealth. Jewish literacy has sustained the Jewish people for over 5,000 years. The principles contained in the Torah give us a framework for how to live our lives. The focus on the value of education and learning has provided us with considerable guidance, allowing the Jewish nation to survive and flourish. So, imagine if you were that student, thousands of years ago that went to Hillel, stood on one leg ready to challenge his knowledge of the Jewish faith. You would have learned that honoring one another, doing acts of kindness, and making peace are our highest duties. But the study of Torah is equal to them all. Why? Because it leads to them all.